gyms throughout Nairobi were forced to shutter their doors in the wake of COVID-19. Some are only hanging on by a thread, while others have managed to adapt and thrive under the city's new normal. So when, when the first corona case uh, was announced here, and, and shortly after the, the president gave uh, directives on how to handle uh, uh, or prevent rather uh, the, 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 the further spreading of the virus, uh, I think most of us just decided to close doors. Of course, you know, there was directive uh, from the government as to how, you know, public spaces should be closed. So as any company, we had to adhere to those. I think with most gyms uh, or most businesses, there have to, there's had to be some sort of a cutback in terms of expenses. So whether it's, uh, you know, reducing, you know, if it's, if it's uh, the staff uh, numbers going down, uh, there have to be some cutbacks here and there. When you go from uh, like uh, hosting more than 300, close to 400 members every week, um, and you go back to uh, zero, uh, of course, there's, uh, it's hard to keep your, your staff on board. More and more people are now becoming more inclined towards the online space which I think is a, well, I mean, it's a market that's been there before, but it's very untapped locally. We switched really fast to online training. Uh, we, we had an extra room that we um, fitted out as a studio. Uh, and, uh, and we have a loyal uh, group of members uh, that were ready to, to, to support us. We had a, another closer look at uh, the directives that were given and we tried to find out or to see if we could make these measures work for our facility. So on the business end there's been a huge investment um, in some cases in going that extra mile to convince clients that look it's, it's okay to come back here, it's safe, we're taking all the necessary precautions to ensure that we're safe and you're safe as well, because as a business, we have an incentive to ensure that we're not, um, you know, creating a, a COVID-19 hotspot. We sanitize our hands, so we do that here at the reception. Uh, we make sure people wear their masks and that uh, they have booked their space uh, so that we are not too many inside the building. I think people understand that they uh, are, maybe not all the time, but they are, in, in most cases, they are in control uh, about their uh, immune systems. And that is when people start looking into like, ways of, of, of keeping it healthy and uh, working out is a, is a very good uh, way of, uh, of doing so.